Hey, what's going on guys? It's Wispin here and welcome back to another video here on the Pokey Central Network. If you guys want to join me here on my server, the IP is PokeCentral.org. All of the links that you need to download and install Pixelmon can be found in the description down below. And of course, like always, if you're having any issues with installing Pixelmon, you can go ahead and join my Discord, which is also linked down in the description. It's completely free. We have over 12,000 members and there is a support channel there where you can ask questions and hopefully get some answers that help you out to get online. So you already probably saw this in the title, but today we are going to be doing how to train your Heatran. Now, if you've been following this series, you might be wondering, uh, well, I don't really have a Heatran, so how exactly am I going to be doing this video? And what I've decided to do is I'm actually going to spawn one in. Before you freak out, what I'm going to do is go ahead and spawn in a Heatran, make it exactly how I have planned, so we'll get all of the best moves, all of the best IVs, everything that we can do, and then I'm actually going to go ahead and give it away to a random player. And if you don't play on gold, which is what I play on, don't worry, you can still enter. And the way that you actually enter is by visiting our Discord server, going ahead and clicking the giveaways tab and there will be a giveaway there that is running for 72 hours from the time this video goes live you'll be able to enter it will select a random winner and then if you end up being that winner you can go ahead and message me and I will make sure to go ahead and get you the heatran and although it's going to be made on gold I will be able to transfer it to crystal or silver so if you want it on those servers you can still get it there so this is actually I believe the second ever giveaway where I've uh, actually taking a Pokemon from this series and just giving it away. Heatran, one of the most valuable Pokemon here on the server, and of course we are going to be going with the winter texture for Heatran, which is a gingerbread Pokemon. Looks really cool, so I'm going to go ahead and get myself this Heatran, and then I will be right back with you guys. So if you want to catch a wild Heatran, you're actually going to have to try to find one in the Mesa biome. Now being a legendary Pokemon, it is going to be super rare, and there are a few other ways that you can actually get yourself one. So of course, as I already mentioned, there is going to be a giveaway for this Heatran, the one that I'm working on today, and that'll be taking place over on the Discord. It's completely free to enter. I definitely recommend doing so. We have giveaways over there all the time, not just this Heatran, but a bunch of other things, winter eggs, uh, all kinds of different things. But there is one other method, which would be buying your own winter eggs. So if you do enjoy playing on the Poke Central network and you want to support the channel as well as the server, you can actually go ahead and visit buy.pokecentral.org. Everything is currently 50% off. Ranks are actually 60% off. So if you do want to go ahead and buy something, now would be the time to do so. The sale is only going to last until January 1st. So in terms of the moveset on this Heatran, I'm pretty sure everything is going to be either learned through a TM or through leveling up. I don't think we have to mess with move tutors at all, but before we actually do anything of that, I want to go ahead and get into the Christmas spirit. I know it's already past Christmas, but let's go ahead and turn this Heatran into a gingerbread Heatran. And here we go. This thing. Oh, I love this texture so much. So this was actually one of the winning textures for the winter contest. So this is the gingerbread heat trend. If you haven't seen it before, it is a really, really cool texture and very creative and works really well with Heatran. Uh, definitely an improvement on the base variant in my opinion. And of course, it'll come with the colored nickname. Uh, for some reason, it is not displaying the aura effect, which is like the snow white particles that kind of float around the winter Pokemon. For some reason, I don't exactly know why that's not showing up, but hopefully we can get that fixed by the time I give away this heat trend. So I guess the first thing we're probably going to want to do is check the IVs. The IVs are currently sitting at 75% and we are going to have to modify these quite a bit and we're actually not going to be giving it 100% IVs. There's something very important that we actually need to remember to do in order to get the correct hidden power because that is going to be one of our moves. So let's just start things off by going into IVs and let's go ahead and max everything out and then we actually need to reduce... I believe it's going to be special attack. If we reduce that by one, that should give us electric type hidden power, which is what we're aiming for. So let's go ahead and confirm that. Um, now in terms of nature, I guess we should go ahead and pick that as well. I don't know what it currently is sitting at, but we do need it to be modest nature. So let's go ahead and boost that, which should be right. It's not blue. Oh, maybe it's purple. Okay, there we go. Yeah, blue is speed, 
purple is special attack okay uh return to main menu and then in terms of growth i actually kind of want it to be just ordinary i don't know what it currently is but we're going to change it to that and then we're going to go ahead and actually put it into a cherish ball so the only way to actually get a pokemon inside a cherish ball is through the poke designer you cannot actually craft them so there's no way to actually get a pokemon in a cherish ball outside of this so it kind of makes it a little bit special and then shiny we don't want to do because we already have a custom texture gender that's fine growth we already changed that so I think we're actually good outside of ability so we have the choice between flash fire and flame body and I believe we probably want to go ahead and make it flash fire maybe actually flame body might be better so both of these abilities are actually decent. Flame Body actually has a 30% chance that the attacker will become burnt. So if anybody hits you with a physical damage dealing move, uh, a move that actually makes contact with your Pokemon that has Flame Body, there's a 30% chance that that Pokemon will get burnt, which is really good. But that doesn't affect special attack type moves or physical attack moves that don't make contact, such as Earthquake. Flash Fire, on the other hand, actually has a 100% chance of being activated. If you're hit by a Fire-type move, you'll get a 50% damage increase to all of your own Fire-type moves. So if any Pokemon attacks you with a Fire-type move, you'll actually get that bonus damage when you use your own Fire-type moves. So I guess if people actually know about this ability, it's probably not very good because no one's really going to be using a Fire-type move against a Heatran. So I'm actually recording this after I finished the entire video and I just wanted to go ahead and jump back and say that I ended up changing the ability from Flame Body over to Flash Fire. And the reason being is because while originally my thought process was no one's ever going to use a fire type move on Heatran, what you actually want to use that move for is prediction. So if you think say you have a grass type pokemon out and the opponent has a fire type pokemon you expect they're going to use a fire type move so you swap into heatran then they use that fire type move on your heatran you get the damage buff and actually flash fire allows you to not take any damage from any fire type move so you also get that benefit um so i feel like overall that probably is a little bit better than flame body okay so all of the changes have been made we are now flame body we have modest nature we have ivs which should be 99 percent, i believe yeah 99 percent. if we go ahead and check hidden power one it is electric type which is what we want in order to help deal with water type pokemon since that's going to be our biggest weakness now we have to go ahead and try to get our move set all figured out so there's actually a few moves that we can get through the move relearner, including Lava Plume. Let's go ahead and replace that there. We also want to get, is it actually here? No, okay. So I think all of the other moves are probably TM. So I'm going to head on home and we'll check our chest first just to make sure we don't have it. Uh, Hidden Power, that is definitely one that we want. We've already talked a little bit about that. We also are going to want Flash Cannon, which I believe should be somewhere around here i don't think we actually have it okay so we'll have to go ahead and visit the shop again and check because i am unable to find it here and then the final one is going to be earth power which i'm fairly certain we probably have some oh the earthquake no okay wait we don't actually have earth power really that's actually very surprising that's one of the TMs I thought I would have a bunch of. Okay, well, warping on over to the shop again. We'll go ahead and check out the ground and the steel type shopkeepers here and see if we can go ahead and get both of these. Uh, flash cannon, that's going to be pretty pricey there. Uh, 24,000. And then earth power should be about the same price, actually. Is earth power not a TM? Okay, so apparently Earth Power is not a TM. Very surprising. I definitely thought it was, but that's all right. He actually learns it at level 73. He also technically learns it at level 1. I think that just means he can naturally have it out in the world when he's a lower level. But, oh, 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 wow. I am, I am so sorry. I didn't realize we literally have Earth Power already. Okay, well, that makes a whole lot more sense as to why it wasn't showing up in the Move Relearner. Uh, I'm very bad at this game and not very good at paying attention to things. Let's go ahead and give him the Flash Cannon move, which will replace Fire Fang, and then we'll go ahead and give him Hidden Power and replace Ancient Power, and that actually completes our entire move set. So um, Lava Plume is just there to actually just pretty much just be a basic stab move. It is a special attack move, which is the same as all four of these, and it also has a chance to leave the target with burn. We have earth power, again, just there to be just a 
decent coverage move has really good accuracy and has a chance of lowering the opponent's special defense we have hidden power which is there to deal with water type pokemon uh, because we do have the correct ivs to make it an electric type hidden power that'll work really great and then of course we have flash cannon which is another move that's just there to kind of be coverage and also we'll actually take advantage of that stab bonus that we get for being partially steel type so that's going to be a 50 percent increase in damage to flash cannon and lava plume and then earth power doesn't get any bonuses but it's a pretty good move anyways and then hidden power there for the water type pokemon pretty straightforward there's nothing really too special about this move set but it definitely is really really good and now i believe the only thing we have left is actually the held item which we're going to probably be able to get right out of our held item chest i would think and yeah, okay, right here. This is what we're going to be going with, so a Choice Scarf. Now, the way a Choice Scarf actually works, if you are unaware, it has a 50% increase to your base speed. So basically, this stat here, 97, our speed will automatically be 50% higher than that every time we jump into a battle, which is great. It speeds up the Pokemon. Heatran isn't really the fastest Pokemon ever. I believe it has a base speed of around... I, I want to say around 70 I'll have the stats showed up on the screen so you'll have a very accurate number there um, but yeah base speed of around 70 so not the fastest Pokemon but that choice scarf does help out quite a bit in order to make us outspeed some other Pokemon that have average speed now the downside to a choice scarf is that you can actually only use one move every time you swap into battle so if we swap into battle and we select earth power Lava Plume, Hidden Power, and Flash Cannon will all be locked until we swap out of battle and then back into battle or we enter a completely new battle. Um, so that is one thing to keep in mind. It kind of is a downside, but I feel like it probably doesn't matter too much because Heatran does have extremely high special attack, so any of our moves are going to do pretty good damage to just about any other Pokemon. So let's very quickly cover EVs. It's not really something that I like to spend too much time on because it's usually just basic and very repetitive compared to every other Pokemon. But of course, we are going to be going ahead and putting our EVs into... That is the wrong menu. We are going to be putting our EVs into special attack as well as speed. So we're actually just going to do exactly that. We're going to cap out special attack all the way up to 252 right there and then we're going to go ahead and cap out speed at 252 and we'll throw the rest into special defense so guys that is actually going to be it for heatran and that is going to be the end of this video i think it's a little bit of a shorter one but that's just because with a legendary pokemon we can't do breeding we can't do egg moves there's a whole lot of things that we're kind of missing out on and i actually didn't really have any way of capturing a heatran in the wild other than just spawning it in which is why we are actually going to be giving away this exact pokemon so if you want to go ahead and enter for a chance to win like i said before you can go ahead and join our discord visit the giveaways channel go ahead and click the little horn icon and that will actually automatically enter you into the discord then just go ahead and make sure that you stay tuned and pay attention to who wins because if you are the winner you're going to go ahead and message me to claim your prize but that's going to be the end of this video if you guys did enjoy make sure to go and leave a like on it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one